So this Corsair MP600 1TB drive stopped working in my other computer so I'm going to plug it into this one just to make sure that the drive has failed and it's not a fault with the motherboard so I'm going to put it into NVMe 2 slot there, M2 slot and we'll see what happens if the system boots, recognises it or if it stops the system from booting which was the problem with my other computer before we look at sending it back to scan computers it only lasted nine months you know, I suppose the last five years it died courses garbage mp600 drives anyway let's just make sure it is the driving that the motherboard's not failing I've got two which one shall we use take the I have to take out the GPU and slot it in under that little metal shroud. Now let's see if it works. So on the other system, it just died suddenly. Couldn't read from it, and then it would wouldn't let the system boot. Get past the BIOS screen. And it would only work once I took it out. So we're going to find out if it is the drive or if the motherboard's failing. The Asus ROG Strix X570F. Yeah, this one was expensive. I think about £170, £80. Not cheap. Gen 4 MP600. So that's the GPU removed. So you can access the NVMe 2 slot this one just unscrew it and plug the drive in so that's the MP600 drive slotted in so now I'm just going to put the heat sink on top so and close it all up and see if it works so that's the heat sink on top of the MP600 so I'm going to put the graphics card in plug it in and See if it boots. Okay, so let's switch it on. Switch it on. Switch it on then. Front. See what happens. Press delete key. So it goes into BIOS. Right then. Can you see the drive? So this is the BIOS. See it as there, M2, will it see it? No. It's not seeing it. So, it looks like the drive is dead. Exit and boot into Windows, see if it we're in, uh, advanced, press F2, let's go advanced, see if we can, uh, let's see if we can see any, on the NVMe, uh, CPU, no we don't want CPU, oh. why don't your mouse move so slow? Okay, this exit. The drive's not visible. We'll just boot into Windows and see if it'll go into Windows. Exit. This X. Right Let's see if it boots into Windows, anything shows there, or if it stops from going into Windows, but it's not showing it in. Uh, BIOS
Come on. This stock? Yeah. This stock? Yeah. It's repeated it. This is what we were doing on mine. Press uh, delete. See, this is exactly what I was doing on mine. The drive's dead. So here's the MP600 that's failed. It just stops you from going past the boot screen. Press F12 so you get boot menu or anything. No, oh, it's froze. Alright, turn it off then. So there you have it. MP600 has failed after nine months. It was doing exactly the same here. Well, after the initial issues, it failed within a few 20 minutes. You couldn't read from it, and then it wouldn't let the system go past the boot screen. So I took it out, and the system booted fine because it was a D drive, second drive, not system. And it's repeating it in this one. It won't go past the BIOS screen, and it doesn't even show in BIOS. You know, on on mine it showed it didn't show on the storage devices it showed under NVMe 2 section config but if you try to say test it it would crash the system would hang and it wouldn't allow you to go past the the boot screen just as it's doing in this system so that confirms and Corsair MP600 NVMe 2 drives are garbage failed after nine months data loss Pay 180 quid for this garbage. Hmm. Uh, take it out and hopefully the system works. Hopefully. Alright, I'm off then. Shall I leave you to it? Sammy, can you do it? Oh, I'll do it. I can leave you. <sighs> MP600. Expensive and they don't last. Maybe it's the positioning under the cooler, under the I mean, uh, GPU. But the temps were fine, you know, 50 degrees. It's supposed to go up to 70, but it was around 48 to 52, which is fine for NVMe too. Anyway, let's get it out of the system. Yeah, contact scan computers. So that's the Corsair MP600 removed. Yeah, failed to work in this system as well. So switch it on. Make sure it works. Go straight to Windows. Yeah, go on. Right, shut it down and you can put the cover on there you have it Corsair MP600 if your system's not booting you got NVMe 2 and it's a Corsair MP600 that's the reason why yeah unfortunately you cannot disable NVMe 2 ports so the only solution is to take it out get it replaced this is what I'm going to do now this scan computer gives me grief.